Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to make TF2 use OpenAL and specifically how to enable the HRTF audio filter for enhanced 3D audio in TF2. So first I'd like to begin with uh, telling y'all what OpenAL is. OpenAL, uh, here's a Git repo, is a library used for processing and playing back uh, audio in a 3D space. So it's not like tf2's audio is on the singular plane x y it's either going to be to the left or the right of you or front and back it doesn't even sound that good right open al is x y z so it's in true 3d space and once you enable the hrtf audio filter on top it's like it's like you're actually you can tell how far away things are exact precisely which direction it's coming from it's pretty cool and it could potentially give you a competitive advantage by taking um by yeah by using this so the source engine has a built-in 3d audio processor it's kind of cringe so today i'm going to show you how to install openal um put in the same runtime if you use it configure openal to use hrtf and enable it in tf2 so first you want to open up your terminal and using your package manager whether it be apt or in this case arch you want to install openal and the 32-bit version of OpenAL. I will put instructions in the description too. Once you have installed that, you want to then um, put it in your Steam runtime. And the Steam runtime is basically a fancy ch root. Instead of using your systems libraries, you know, located at user lib. It's going to use the libraries look at at uh, dot steam slash Ubuntu uh, dot steam slash steam slash Ubuntu. What? Oh, yeah, it's going to be look at uh, your home directory dot steam and Ubuntu 1232. And this is the steam runtime. And as you can see, it looks like a Linux root directory because it kind of is. So we're going to, and the open AL in this runtime is kind of outdated. So while in Steam runtime, you know, I can just do it from here. You want to go to your user lib. And first we're going to do 64 bit. So you want to look for open AL. Don't touch this. You want to touch the dot so dot one. We can just delete that and you can open up a terminal here. So what you want to do is ln dash SFT and point to your own lib uh, uh, open AL lib. So on arch that'll be slash user lib on Ubuntu be like this x86 again instructions and description. So lib open AL that so that one and you want to link that to lib open al dot so dot one and you see this one is linked and send me link to this old one's going to be linked to your system and then you want to go to the 32-bit version again open al open up a terminal here close the old one you want to link your system library this time your 32-bit library folder lib32 Live open al so that one and the 32 bit library i'm also going to delete this one the 32 bit library is the one that tf2 uses because tf2 is 32 bits uh this also works for csgo and csgo uses the 64 bit one so just letting you know um <laughs> i'm not sure if it worked Oh, that's open SL. Ooh, did I just delete open? No. Oh, I think I know it. Okay. Lib 32, lib open AL dot SO dot one, right? To lib open SL. I mean, not SL, SO, I mean, AL, AL, I'm sorry. And yeah, 
so then open SL. Yeah, that's wrong. Again, <laughs> clear instructions and descriptions. So now it's part of your Steam runtime library. It's linked to your user, your system library, so it should perform better. And now you, we want to tell OpenAL to use the HRTF audio processing. So you want to open up a terminal, right? And a, uh, the OpenAL package on your system repo should come with a program, alsoft.config. If it doesn't, you can manually type out the config, but this will allow you to generate it using a GUI. So you first want to set your sample rate to 4400 because that's you know, what all TFT audio uses and that HRTF is only supported on that. You want to set your stereo mode to headphones. You want to set your resampler quality just this high. If you have a bad CPU, maybe keep it on default. But, you know, if you have like a modern good CPU, you, you can put it this high. You want to go to HRTF. HRTF mode, you want to turn on. And you want to put this on full. Backends, this is for Linux on Windows. Just, it doesn't matter. I like using Alsa, but you should probably use Pulse Audio for yourself on Linux. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's everything you need now this program will write your settings to your alsoft.conf on windows i don't know if alsoft.config comes on windows so you can try to just type this in a text file if you need to put this text file next to your hl2.exe in tf2 or it's probably a place for the entire system to use you can look it up on the open al wiki i'll put it in the description later so the most important parts if you don't have alsoft.config or uh, dash config is your frequency set to 44100 hrtf is true mode is full and your stereo mode is in headphones and here's one more thing we need to do to configure you see how this is in dot config some guides tell me to write it in dot alsoft in my home directory so just to be safe i'm going to link the dot config one to a dot al soft in my home directory so anytime i use al soft dot dash config it will also change to dot al soft here now we need to configure tf2 to do that you want to go to your tf2 library i'm just going to go to mine So this is, uh, you want to go to your Team Fortress 2 folder, TF, then you want to go to uh, CFG, and then you want to open up your auto exec and your text editor, and then um, I need to grab it from an actual auto exec, okay. So then you want to paste in all of this into here. I'm just going to put a comment saying open AO. So I'm going to explain what each one does. This uh, forces TF2 to use uh, OpenAL, the DSP slow CPU. The sound spatialized round robin enables uh, spatialized sound, as it says. DSP enhanced stereo enables environmental reverb. You can turn this off if you want to, if you don't like environmental reverb on your sounds. And sound pitch quality one sets it to the highest quality sounds that TF2 offers. If you're using master config, you know, put it in your user folder, but you should know that by now. And now you should have OpenAL configured. This, and since you configured it in the system wide, at least on Linux, right? It should also enable other OpenAL applications like Minecraft. You now have HRTF 3D audio in Minecraft. If you enable this in CSGO, you now have it there. It's pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you two clips one loud situation one quiet situation of the difference between normal tf2 audio and hrtf tf2 audio thanks for watching mission begins in 30 seconds Five, 
We need a dispenser right here. We need a dispenser right here. Dispenser goes here. We need a dispenser right here. Need a dispenser here. Dispenser goes here. Need a dispenser here. Need a dispenser here. Dispenser here. Need a 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 dispenser here. Need a